welcome back to my channel. Love Lauren here and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Last week I watched The Matrix for the first time and that was my first ever Keanu Reeves movie and it blew me away. It knocked my socks off. I freaking loved that movie. It's so good to finally understand the context of the red pill and the blue pill and I thought Keanu Reeves gave such an incredible performance in that movie and since watching that movie a lot of you guys have been recommending another Keanu Reeves movie to me and that is John Wick from 2014. Now, I don't know much about this movie. I've heard from friends that it is really good and I need to watch it. So today is the day I'm gonna be watching John Wick and I am super excited. I hope you guys are too. So grab your chicky nuggies, grab your chalky milk and let's jump in. What the hell? Oh! Oh, it's Keanu. Oh my god. What happened? Yeesh. He looking rough right now. Ooh. God damn, man. What happened to you? Oh, is that his girlfriend or his wife? Jesus, what happened? Okay, so I wonder if it's gonna show us like what led up to that moment. Like it's kind of starting off, off with like showing us like the end of the movie and then going to go, go into how it got there. It's kind of what I'm guessing right now. Oh, what happened? Oh my God, I just got chills. Oh my God, did he just pull like the plug on her? Poor guy, Jesus. Nice car. Oh wow, it was recent. My god, they're just now putting her in the ground. What happened? It's been a while. My condolences. I've seen him before. I've seen him in Spider Man. He was the goblin dude. You killed them. We killed them. Just checking up on an old friend. Give out, Johnny. Man, this is really sad. John Wick? Yes. Sign here, please. Aw, what's in there? I'm sorry, I can't be there for you. But you still need something, someone. I love you, John. This illness has loomed over us for a long time. Until that day, your best friend, Helen. Oh, his wife got him a puppy. Oh, look at the little Triboli in the crate just looking at him. Oh, she didn't want him to be alone. Oh, my little puppy. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, look at the little face. Daisy. Oh, Daisy. That's a cute name. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh. No, Daisy wants to sleep on the bed. That's not a doggy bed. I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> I feel like the I feel like the dog's just gonna end up trying to jump on the bed anyways. We we'll see. <laughs> Aww. His wife was really looking out for him. She didn't want him to be alone. So she got him a little companion. It was really sweet. Hey. <laughs> you gotta go potty. 
Let's say, aww. <laughs> I love dogs. They're so cute. We hungry oh. now. <laughs> Is he giving the dog cereal? <laughs> I mean, I guess he was unprepared to get a dog, you know? Is that Russian? Nice ride. It is a nice ride. Class 429. She is 70. 69. How much? Excuse me. How much for the car? She's not for sale. Oh, she was sick yet, so it's in. I want to soup them yet. Oh. Good day. Good day. <laughs> they didn't know that he understood. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that was rude. That was rude of that guy. It is a really cool car. I feel like this is his coping mechanism right now. Like, this is him coping. He's getting some of his emotions out right now. I mean, he's grieving right now, so you gotta find ways to cope, you know? And if driving around uh, makes him feel better, <laughs> driving around at high speeds, doing donuts makes him feel better, then right on, man. Do what you gotta do. You need to go. Hey, potty time. <laughs> Oh my god, are these the guys from the gas station? Aww. No, leave the dog alone. Oh. Also, they could steal the car? As if he wasn't going through enough already. Those guys from the gas station came to his house to steal his car, killed his dog, and beat him up? What the f <laughs> Well, what goes around comes around, right? I want a new VIN number and some clean papers. Where'd you get that car? Oh, he knew where it was going. Is it here? It was. I asked you, where the hell did you get it? Who gives a Yosef Tarasov, Nick. Legal, son. All right, get out of here. Just get out of my shop. Get out right now. You just lose your shit, Aurelio, because we own you. Wait, what did you say? What did you say to me? We own you. The owner of the car. You, did you kill him or what? You sure as hell f***ed up his dog. <laughs> up his dog. That's what you did. You yeah. up his dog. <laughs> totally deserve that. 
going to come into my shop and you're going to pull a gun on me. That's great, man. Now, you, you kill me right now, or you get the f out of my shop. You got a f***ing pair on you, old man. Oh, he knew that was his car, huh? I need a ride. Nice. <laughs> well, at least he has a, a car now. I mean, I guess he had that other car in the garage, but it had a bat in the window, so it would make it kind of hard to drive. I heard you struck my son. Yeah, he did. Yeah, may I ask why? Because he stole John Wick's car, sir, and uh, killed his dog. What? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. He just said, oh. Ooh. What does that mean? Yeah. They've agreed to your terms. Isn't that guy in the in the insurance commercials the the mayhem like me? I don't think his dad is super happy about what happened. <laughs> Should I go? Yeah. Oh, shit, sure. he's taking he's taking off his jacket. What did I do? Je prenul za popolni. So I stole the fucking car. Get off. Vigal? Yeah, he is not happy. It's not what you did, son. It's who you did it to. Nobody? A fucking nobody is John Wick. Oh shit. We call him Baba Yaga. Boogeyman? Well, John wasn't exactly the boogeyman. The boogeyman? He was the one to kill the boogeyman. Oh, sh Oh. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. <laughs> oh. I once saw him kill three men in a bar with a bouncer. Oh, so he definitely f***ed with the wrong guy. That's... That makes sense why his dad's upset. John will come for you. Oh, that gave me chills. You will do nothing because you can do nothing. So get the f*** out of my sight. <laughs> it gave me chills when he said John will come for you. Damn, he really is like the boogeyman, huh? Hello, John. I heard about your wife. I'm sorry. My condolences. And handle this like civilized men to move on. <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> Task your crew. <laughs> How many? How many do you have? This guy seems scared of him. Like, he seems genuinely scared of him. So he's sending in guys to try to hit him first? God damn, he is good at shooting. He definitely looks like he knows what he's doing. Oh! <gasps> Through the shelf! Oh! Holy sh! Cops? Who called the cops? Oh, sh 
Evening, Jimmy. Noise complaint. Noise complaint. You uh working again? No, I just sorting some stuff out. <gasps> oh well. I'll leave you be then. Uh, what? Hey, Good night, Jimmy. Just sorting some stuff out. Uh, him and the cop seem cool. They they seem like they knew each other, so that's that was funny. Good to see you, John. Charlie. You look good. Waste disposal. Oh, it's like a cleanup crew? Yeah, and that cop earlier asked him if he was working again, so I'm guessing that he used to be like a hitman or something. Especially since that, that Russian guy called him the boogeyman or the one you hire to kill the boogeyman, I think he said. Will I be hearing from you anytime soon? Goodbye, Charlie. John. What are those coins? I have a job for you. And I've got a phone. Would you kill John Wick for two million dollars? Isn't this his friend? Is the contract exclusive? No, it's open. Consider it done. What? I thought that guy was his friend. I guess two million dollars uh, means more to him than their friendship. Jeez. Guess they weren't really friends, huh? Good seeing you again, John. Perkins. I have you for two nights. Depending on business, it may be more. Those, that was the same gold coin that he used to pay that other guy. It is a pleasure having you with us again, Mr. Wick. Seems like good customer service. <laughs> Hello, Winston. Jonathan. Weren't you the one tasked to dole out the beatings, not receive them? Rusty, I guess. Yosef Tedosov. What about him? I'd like to talk with him. Have you returned to the fold? Just visiting. Where do I find him? So he's not returning back to his lifestyle. He's just visiting? If they're willing to break the rules of Continental, double the bound. No business can be conducted on these premises lest incurring heavy penalty. Oh, they're not allowed to do business at the hotel? Business. It's personal. Compliments of the house. Thanks. Maybe he thinks that guy was trying to kill him. So it seems like John doesn't really want to cause any trouble. He doesn't want to return back to his lifestyle. It seems like he just wants to kill this this guy, Yosef. You scared of the f***ing boogeyman? I'm not. But you should be. Want another bottle? <laughs> Give me a bottle. This guy's like Come a kid. On. He's like a spoiled brat. Hello, Francis. Mr. Vig. 20 kilograms. Da. For peachy light. Are you here on business, sir? Great, so, Francis. Why don't you take the night off? Thank you, sir. <gasps> the security guy knew who he was. I love that conversation between them, though. Oh. 
Damn, he snuck in there. He was like silent when he killed that guy behind, behind him. That was crazy. He's sneaky. <laughs> Target acquired. Damn, and they still have no idea that he's there? Oh. Yes. Dang. I bet he's scared now. Man, he looks like a man on a mission, doesn't he? People are still dancing after that. Look at that. No one's even like alarmed that maybe they couldn't hear the gunshots. I feel like even in a club, you'd be able to hear that. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's so accurate. He literally does not miss a shot. Oh, empty. <laughs> so much ass right now i'm rooting for him i am on i am on team john right now like kick his ass john kill this little Ooh. oh damn you get shot twice he has a bulletproof vest on though right Oh, did you get hit, man? Hopefully, I mean, it, it wouldn't have gone through the vest, right? Maybe it hit, maybe he got hit somewhere where there wasn't vest. You got this, John! Damn, this guy's getting some good hits in. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Oh, God. Rest in peace, his spine. Jesus. Victor's dead. Yeah, he coming for you, boy. He coming for you. He go to get you. Damn, he got shot and stabbed with a bottle. With a sh with like a broken bottle. Good evening, Mr. Wick. How may I be of service? He's a doctor. 24-7. Send him up. How good's your laundry? I'm sorry to say that no one's that good. <laughs> Damn, this hotel has a doctor? Okay, it, it's gotta be like a hotel for hitmen then, right? For hit, for people who like do this for a job. Cause why would they have like a, a house doctor? If you still have business to attend to take two of these beforehand your stitches will tear and you'll bleed but you'll have full function i mean he's kind of in rough shape right now but he definitely kicked way more ass you know what i mean he kicked he, he killed a lot of people in that club oh no this was a so-called friend really man You're gonna snipe this man while he's laying in his bed? Oh. Oh my. 
my god! I thought I'd let myself in. I noticed. So is she trying to kill him too for the money? Never knew Miss Perkins got out of bed for less than three. Vigo's giving me four to break hotel rules. Yeah, they said no business there at the hotel, right? It's a pussy. even fair oh god that's gotta hurt well so much for oh not the stitches yes we have received a number of grievances from your floor concerning the noise my apologies. I was dealing with an uninvited guest. He's so, he's so humble. <laughs> Just dealing with an uninvited guest. Do you really want to die here, Perkins? Give me something. Little Russia. There's a church near Cannon Court. It's where Vigo keeps his private stash. A church as a front? I know you. I'm thinking so. Hey, John. Hey, Harry. <laughs> Everything all right? Yeah. Well, I'll leave you to it then. Hey, Harry. You keen on earning a coin? Catch and release. Catch and release. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I I love the interactions that John has with people like they're just so he's so like nonchalant like despite like horrible things that are happening there could be dead bodies on the floor it could be a shootout or whatever he just got you know beat up by someone and he still just like has the same composure he's just super I don't even know what the word would be like humble I guess Vigo will kill me. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you think you're going to do with all of that? This. message damn i thought maybe he was gonna take some of it but i don't think he took any of it i think he just set it on fire <laughs> yo john wick is is really badass not gonna lie don't worry housekeeping will find you treat all your ladies like this you are no lady what did she just do to her thumb did you hear that it was like I a crack more than just a gold coin Oh no. You've done business on continental ground. And management does not take kindly to that sort of behavior. Management. Oh. Don't worry. Housekeeping will find you. Oh. And I like that guy. He seemed cool. God damn, John coming in hot. He he is a one man army for sure. The only way they could take him out was by hitting him with a car. You're still very much the John Wick of old. Am I? Do you know what was in that vault? The leverage I had on this city. Yeah, 
kind of enjoyed this. <laughs> yeah, I know you did. Wow, you're cool hitting a guy while he's tied to a chair. Like, come on, man. A lot of us are rewarded for our misdeeds. Is why God took your wife and unleashed you upon me. I don't know about all that. We are cursed, you and I. On that, we agree. Step aside. Give me your son. Baba Yaga. Just a f car. Just a f dog. It wasn't just a dog. It was a dog that his wife got for him. Until that dog arrived on my doorstep. Final gift for my wife. An opportunity to grieve on the law. And your son took that from me. Killed that from me! People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. I'm thinking I'm back. Or you can die screaming alongside him! Oh, oh. God, that is a really f***ed up way of trying to kill him. He had his hands behind his back and they were just gonna suffocate him with a bag. I'm glad this Marcus guy turned out to like not be trying to kill him. Like he helped him in the hotel room and he helped him just now. So I guess he's kind of looking out for him. That's the guy who threw him off the like balcony in the club, right? He was the one that got away. And damn, I, I, I mean, I guess Marcus is looking out for him. It seems like he is. I thought he was gonna try to kill him and take the bounty, but it seems like he's not. I mean, he's had plenty of opportunities to kill him and didn't, so. your word then if I tell you where he is. You let me walk away. Pull the contract. Done. It's kept in a safe house. Brooklyn. 434. Wallace Place. Damn. They know you're coming. He just gave up his son. But it won't matter. Damn. I feel like his I feel like he knows that his son is like it's over, you know what I mean? He's like my son fucked up. He needs to accept his fate at this point. Like his dad has done everything he could at this point to help him avoid death. Priyo. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. <gasps> I would be scared if I were him. Wow, that's a really cool shot right there. Him walking up like that. Goddamn. Holy shit. Oh my god, that was awesome! That was so cool! Make the arrangements. Damn, he already knew. A parting gift 
from the management. Compensation for last night's unfortunate incident. You mean Miss Perkins or whatever her name was? Came in and tried to kill him? At least they have some pretty good customer service there. They gift him a car? Man, is he is he ever gonna get his car back? I liked his Mustang. How many times do I have to save your ass? <laughs> I appreciate it. So you look terrible. No, I look retired. Tired? You really believe that? Speaking of the devil, there she is. She looks pissed. It's time to go home. What's going on right now? Let's get on with this. Whatever the f this is. Hello, Marcus. This is John. I appreciate you granted my son a swift death. Marcus betrayed me. You pulled the contract. You had every chance. Oh, he's mad at him for not killing John because his John killed his son first. My son will be still alive. Really? You're gonna blame him? I mean, I guess. That's assuming that he'll be able to successfully kill John, which I mean, I guess he had a chance, but. In for a penny, in for a pound. Damn, that Miss Perkins chick is bad news. I feel like he's just taking his anger out on Marcus because he's upset his son's gone. Miss Perkins, I apologize for calling you after this hour. Bleh. They killed him. We're helping you, John. Your membership to the Continental has been, by thine own hand, revoked. Damn! Oh my god! Is that what you do when you break the- Is that what happens to you when you break the rules? Holy <laughs> Like, I figured there would be consequences, but damn. Oh, <laughs> that was a good one. I feel like he's like drunk and hysterical right now because he knows he's gonna die. Yeah, look, he knows he's gonna die. Russian sucker. Damn. Damn, that guy's slipped away. Where'd he go? Damn, he got over there quick. No more guns, dog. No more bullets. No more bullets. He still go kick your ass, man. <laughs> I honestly can't believe they're like 1v1 fighting right now. Do I look civilized to you? I mean, 
mean, I guess they didn't say no knives. They said no guns, but still, come on, man. Oh, why did he do that? Just to break his arm like that? Ooh. Be seeing you, Dom. Be seeing you. Yeah, I guess I guess he did that to get the upper hand on him. Not really sure. Oh, and that's where it ties back into the beginning of the movie. Come on, John. Let's go home. Yeah, wow. Oh, what is this? Like an animal shelter or something? Or a vet? There are a bunch of dogs in cages, so... a new friend now. Aww. Oh, that was the end. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. I loved this movie so much. I was definitely team John the entire time. I completely understand why he was going after Yosef. I mean, like he said many times in this movie, it was personal and it definitely was. You know, he lost his wife. He had just lost his wife, just had a funeral service. And then she sent him a gift, which was Daisy, the little puppy that she sent because she didn't want John to grieve by himself. She didn't want him to be alone. And I thought that was such a beautiful thing. And for this guy, Yosef, to come along and be the jerk that he was, like he was above and beyond a jerk, let's be real. He was a he he was definitely rude at the gas station, but for him to go out of his way to go to John's house, jump him, kill his dog, and steal his car. Like it was definitely personal at that point. And as much as Vigo, his dad tried to, you know, tried to take John out before he got the chance to kill Yosef, it it didn't work. Like John was clearly a badass. I wasn't really sure what profession or lifestyle John had come from until I, I it started kind of building up for me. Like the first interaction uh, with Aurelio and Yosef, where they were at the chop shop, where Yosef brought John's Mustang into the chop shop. I kind of knew something was up when Aurelio did not want to accept the car. You know, he was like, oh, do you know whose car that is? And I was like, oh no. So it seemed like John had a reputation. And I think what really solidified that for me was when Aurelio told Vigo over the, fun, over the phone, like, why did you hit my son? He was like, well, you know, I hit your son because he stole John's car and he killed his dog. And his response was, oh. And that to me said everything. I was like, okay, that to me was like he he understood he was understanding the magnitude of the situation. John was a killing machine. He was so skilled at killing people. I mean, he he was a hitman. You could tell he was good at it. He said that he was rusty a couple of times throughout the movie and there were some times where he you know, got he got hit or he got punched a couple times or thrown off the top of the balcony in that dance club. But he he was a very skilled uh, killer. Let's put it that way. He was a very skilled killer. 
I especially loved all of the interactions that John had with various people throughout the movie. Like I loved the interaction that he had with the cop after those guys, that hit squad came to his house to try to kill him. And there were just like dead bodies in the background and the cop was just so casual. Like, oh, are you working again? He's like, okay, well, I'm just gonna go. And <laughs> I loved that part. That was so great. But John just seemed so humble. He was so nonchalant. Like no matter what was happening, no matter how much death and destruction was going on. He was just such a humble guy and I really loved that about him. I'm really glad that Marcus, his friend, didn't end up trying to kill John because originally when Vigo offered the contract first to Marcus and Marcus was like, consider it done, I was a little disappointed. I was like, damn dude, I thought you were his friend. Like I thought, I genuinely thought that he was a friend of John. So I, I was a little upset when Marcus was going to take the contract and I, I thought for sure that Marcus, you know, was going to be the first one to try to kill John, but he didn't. He had, um, from what I remember, he had two opportunities in the movie to kill John and he didn't. He, the first one was in the hotel room when John was laying down, recovering and Miss Perkins came in and instead of killing John, he shot right next to John's head to alert him to Miss Perkins in the hotel. And then the second time was when Vigo uh, had John tied up to the chair and they put a bag over John's head and Marcus came to the rescue and shot those guys while, that were trying to suffocate John. So I'm really glad that Marcus was helping out John instead of trying to kill him. He ultimately died for it though. Vigo was pissed that Marcus didn't kill John and, and he felt like that, he felt like if Marcus had killed John earlier, had just done the job like he said he was going to do, that his son would still be alive but uh, I, I'm just glad that Marcus didn't do it because I feel like Yosef and Vigo kind of got what was coming to them. I'm glad that John was able to get his revenge on the both of them. But I loved that by the end of the movie, not only did John get his revenge and settle his personal vendetta, but he also got himself a new friend. He got himself a new puppy and it looked like he at the end there, he was at like a kill shelter maybe? Because uh, I caught the, there was a, a little piece of paper on the crate. Uh, of the dog's crate that he opened and it said put down. So I'm thinking that maybe he went into a kill shelter and he, he took the dog out of the kill shelter and he has a new buddy now. So that, I thought that was actually a really nice place to to end the movie. I wasn't expecting it to end so soon. I was kind of hoping we were gonna get to see him get his Mustang back. I'm not sure if he ever gets his car back, but I hope he does. I, I know that there are some sequels out there for this movie, which I may watch eventually. Um, and I hope he gets his Mustang back in those because that was such a nice car. But I really did love this movie. I was definitely team John. John Wick is such a badass. Thank you so much, you guys, for recommending this movie to me. I freaking loved it so far. I've seen two Keanu Reeves movies. I've seen The Matrix and I've seen this. I've seen John Wick and I freaking loved both of them. Incredible movies. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I would appreciate your support a ton. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Until next time. Dee -dee.